Okay, so let's look at editing your footage on an iPhone with iMovie. So open iMovie and the first thing you're going to see is this welcome screen. Click create new project and you'll be faced with this new window, movie or trailer. For now, we're gonna click movie and what happens is it opens up all of your media. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click video and recently added. That will give you all of your recently added videos here. So here is some footage I've shot of a dance film which we're going to use for this workshop. So to select it, I just click it and I get these yellow bars around the edge. What I can do is I can play them in this little media play before I import them into iMovie. So I can check that it's the right clip that I want to import. I can also scroll with my finger and if I get to the edge of the clip, I can shorten the clip to just a little bit that I want. So from here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click the tick mark, but I'm just double checking it's the right length and the right clip that I want. So that all looks good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I click the check button. Now, I didn't click the check button, I clicked off it. So that's taking me to iMovie with no footage in. But that is not a problem because it's really simple to import footage back into iMovie as long as it is in my photos library. So whilst we're here though, let's just have a quick look at what we've got. If I click the question mark icon, that brings up a list of information to help me navigate around iMovie. Okay, let's click the plus icon and then import our footage. So once I've clicked it, I get this interface pop up. So we know about moments, videos, photos, and albums, but if I slide down, you'll notice I can film direct with the camera or if I have iCloud, I can use files. For now, I'll click video, recently added, and I'm just gonna reselect my clip and click the plus icon, and that's gonna bring it down to my timeline. So you'll notice this white line, that's my scroller. So wherever that is, it's on my playhead, it's playing that part of the video clip. So if I scroll backwards, and I'm just scrolling with my finger. So I go one way, the other way. So I'm gonna import some more footage here. Let me slide down and select some footage. There we go. There's my preview. So I'm to get a preview, I'm just holding my finger onto the clip and that preview pops up. Or equally, I could click the play button. So I'm just gonna look at that again because the start's a little bit shaky. So let me trim that out. And I want it just as the dancer enters the screen. There we go, that looks really good. I think what I'm going to do is import most of this footage because I, I might use some of this later on. So let's have a look there. And we will, oops, I've unselected that. Let me just scroll that backwards there. And I'll do this quite quick because I want to show you an overview of how you do this. Now, you will notice that this clip has been imported before the last clip. So it's at the front of it. And that is because my playhead was, be was before that clip. So that means wherever your playhead is, is where your footage will be imported. If you import the clip in the wrong place, it's not a problem. Hold your finger on the clip and you can just move it to the correct position. Once I select the clip, you'll notice I get the yellow square around it and I can readjust my clip. So if I bring in too much, I can readjust that. You'll also notice at the bottom, lots of icons pop up. Don't worry about those for now because we're gonna talk about those in a minute. So what happens when I bring two clips in is it instantly gives me a dissolve transition. So if I just click the transition icon with my finger, I get this submenu. So I don't want to transition, I want to straight cut. So I'm gonna select straight cut and then that will bring that up. If I select the little gear icon, I get this project settings. I don't want you to worry about the top two yet. I'm gonna do a separate video about those. What I'd like you to do is to look at the fade in from black and the fade out to black tabs and we're going to select those there. So we're just gonna to touch them with our finger and turn those on. And I'm gonna click done. What that has done is that has given me a fade in and a fade out on the first clip and the last clip. So in this instant, I only have two clips in, so it's only put it on two clips. If I add a clip in the middle of these two, that fade out will always stay with the first and the last clip. So that's really useful to know. So when you're starting and ending at film, it tells your audience that it started and it's ended. Okay, so let's 
keep working with our editing process. I'm going to import some more footage here. Let me just select the right footage. I'm just scrolling through. And you'll notice some of my footage has a yellow line underneath. That tells me that that footage has been used. So I'm going to bring that in between the two. And again, you'll notice it's given me a dissolve transition by default. Just have a look at that clip. Now, I don't think this clip is quite right for the kind of feel I want with my film. So I'm going to select it and notice the icons underneath. I'm going to select the little scissors, which is a cut icon. And I'm going to delete this clip, I think. But whilst we're here, let me talk about the others. So that's a circle with a line in the middle. That is your speed. So that adjusts your speed so you can make it quicker or slower. The one next to that that looks like a little microphone that is your sound so you can make your clip louder or silent the one next to that is text and titles and we'll look at that in a separate video and the one next to that the three circles is your color grade and again we're going to look at that later on so don't worry about that yet and then moving across you have split detach duplicate and delete and they're quite self-explanatory okay so let's move on Let's import some more footage in a moment and I'll keep the editing process. So I'm going to speed this video up now because you know how to import footage and you know how to place it along the timeline where you want it. So all I'm doing here is I'm just selecting clips to put into my timeline ready to create my dance film. Again, obviously I've speeded this up because you know how this process works now. You don't need to watch me do it on all of my clips. Great, so I started to build up a rough timeline of what I think my dance film is going to be. Great, so that is a really quick, rough first draft edit of my dance film in iMovie on the iPhone. So let me just have a quick check to make sure some of these clips are working in the order I've got them. And again, as I mentioned previously, if I hold my finger on the clip, I can move that to a different position in the timeline and I can see if I like it there or I can move it around and, and readjust all those clips. So I've still got full functionality even though I've put all of my clips in the timeline. So all I'm doing now is I'm going through, doing a little bit of refining, making sure that I'm happy with the flow and I'm happy with the transitions, etc. Okay, so in the next session, we're going to move this edit on and we're going to start looking at how we color grade our clips, how we add audio, how we add titles to finish off our dance film ready so we can export it.